Somebody that you guys have been asking me to cover for quite a long time now is Joshua Block, aka World of T-Shirts, New York's favorite drunken son. And I think there's no better time to do that than today. Because the other day I saw a live stream from some dude named Mr. Based, and on that stream he had one World of T-Shirts there and stuck the camera in his face, and as time went on, things just got increasingly more and more aggressive on the part of One World of T-Shirts. Now, I don't know the real relationship between these two guys, kinda seems like old Mr. Based is just clout chasing off Josh, but that's a story we'll get to later. The more important thing about this video is that it starts out pretty tame, but as it goes on, old Josh Joshua just starts losing his mind. Now, if you know anything about the story of this guy, he's drunk all the time, he's constantly freaking out, he's always getting in trouble with the cops, he's always a giant nuisance. But in today's video, he's not really going to be freaking out on anyone other than himself and the people yelling at him through the TTS. Now, if you wonder what TTS is, it's the text-to-speech program that most live streamers use so that when people donate money, you'll hear that little voice come in and go, you know, so-and-so donated $5 and said, and well, what they said ended up just completely rubbing Mr. T-Shirts the wrong way. And you're gonna get to see all that today. But ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the video, I want to give a massive shout out to today's sponsor of the video, Prize Picks. Throughout the course of this summer, Prize Picks has been the most fun I've had winning up to a hundred times my money all throughout this baseball season. It's incredibly simple, as all you have to do is pick two players, pick over or under on their projected stats, and then place your entry. Now, as somebody who watches baseball as much as myself, I've had a lot of big wins this summer on prize picks. All these you're seeing on screen right now are my own wins. And with baseball season in full swing, there are tons of games that you can go make picks on each and every day. But there are tons of sports and esports that you can wager on on the app. And especially with football season about to start soon, there's never been a better time to join. And right now, if you click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment, you'll get a 100% deposit match up to $100 when you first sign up for prize picks. Come on over and join me, and let's win big together, my friends. Always remember to wager responsibly, and thank you again to prize picks for sponsoring today's video. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Now here's the deal, these two are drinking and smoking all day long, and at some points a little too much. But the fact of the matter is that substances like that play a big part in today's video, and I think it's a really important time to always bring up that if you can't handle your alcohol, don't drink. And, <laughs> and World of T-Shirts here gets trashed every single day despite not knowing how to handle his alcohol, and that's why he's such, like I said before, a nuisance to everybody on the street he runs into. Look, I'm rambling on a little bit too much now, but all this is going to be understood when you actually see how this video plays out, because right now you see a nice little autistic gentleman just sitting there talking about whatever he is but soon he ain't gonna be talking he's gonna be screaming and he's gonna be screaming quite a bit so with all that finally being said let's now jump into this video the what down said five dollars josh your camo greeting suck i got a full refund for Sir, mine hold this You're unemployed time, rat. i'm not unemployed i'm self-employed for crying out loud and if you request a refund, I'm gonna charge it back. Here, hold it. Mother I'm gonna go get the screen. Hold it, hold it. I'm gonna toilet paper your home. Paper toilet said three dollars. Josh, this is carbon you are banned from buying our toilet paper, you little I'm not banned from buying oh, toilet man, paper. Three dollars, hey Josh. Buying I toilet paper is a god-given right. Only you go to Colorado to declare victory over Daniel Larson. Mother f***er. What? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Well said. I don't know what. People are so mean to me. Josh is a broke boy sent $3. Josh is I make $5,000 a, 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 a month, Josh is a broke boy. 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 Josh is poor. I make five grand a month, bitch. You can't, you, you, what do you make? You're living off of your parents' allowance. I'm, I have, I make more money than you. 
As you can see, these donators are not being kind to Josh. Now, they're not saying anything that crazy, just calling him broke and telling him that his cameos suck, but obviously Josh is not taking this very well. You call him broke, he will gladly exclaim that he makes five grand a month. What do you make, bitch? Now, look, I don't know what these people make. The fact that they're donating to the stream to call Josh broke is, is kind, of, kind of ironic considering he'll probably get at least a small portion of his money. You know, I just said that, but then I remembered that this Mr. Based guy is probably just shoving this camera in Josh's face for his own clout. Highly doubt Josh will maybe see any of this, but who knows? Nonetheless, Josh does not like it. He is a self-made man who works his ass off every day on the streets of New York, and all these people coming into this chat telling him this, they're really getting under his skin. And clearly Josh isn't really the most mentally stable person, so that mixed with the alcohol is just going to make for one, <laughs> one hell of a show as these donations continue to come in. Why are people so mean? I don't know. That's why I don't want to be a streamer, because all I get is mean comments. What do you, do you have thick skin? Do you, you know what that means, thick skin? No. Like, can you take stuff and it bounces off of you, or do you get upset? I'm really offended by these mean comments. I mean, maybe everyone will be nice to you, but I don't know, the nature of the internet, they might not be. This next part is one of my absolute favorites as Josh comes face to face with one of his supposed fans. Now, World of T-Shirts is somebody who does his TikToks. He has like a lot of followers, I think like well over in the millions. And it's not surprising that people recognize him on the streets. Now, Mr. Bass, the guy he's with, seems to take this very well. However, <laughs> however, Josh, you know, the celebrity, the one with the adoring fans coming up to him, does not in fact handle this well and quite honestly comes off as just like a major dick. I'm having withdrawals. I need a drink. Oh, oh. Yep. Okay. In New York. Ah, Josh fans. Let's go. Let's Car go. Oh. I'm a big fan with it. Can you shake your hand? This this is private property. You shouldn't be here. Josh loves his fans. Go. You gotta, you gotta go. This is private property. God bless you guys. Have a good one. Mediocre, sad, depressed. Your recurring song you have made. You are delusional. I know what actually likes you. Everyone loves Josh. You see everyone in the street comes over, he's like, get away! They love him anyway. That's when you know someone's a huge celebrity. You considered boofing zins yet? Yeah. Instant buzz. Have you ever thought about shoving a zin up your butt? Rectally? I don't know. It would probably hit hard. That shit would hit hard. I can smoke a joint, just not his joint. Not gonna lie, there's some pretty weird undertones for a while here. I mean, only in the few clips I saw there, but Josh talking about wanting to smoke this guy's joint. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty weird, but you know, it's Josh. I'm not gonna hold him to it because he says a lot of weird shit. What you're seeing on screen right now, pretty gross. It says, not gonna lie, not gonna, not gonna joke around with y'all. Please do not click off the video. It is just World of T-Shirts vomiting. This is something that he does probably bi-daily, I'd assume. He drinks a little too much. And as I've said before, his body just can't handle it. This time in particular, though, he was given like a bowl right before he uh, threw up. So it may have been the hit of weed that really drove him over the edge. I know it's happened to me in the past before, but it's not really important. Josh just got really sick right on this dude's floor. Uh, again, I say it's not important, but it's pretty funny, you know. This is what you get, Mr. Bass. You bring Josh into your crib, now you're going to be cleaning up throw up. Uh, he just lets it happen. He's kind of sitting in the background right there. Um, you know, this... This is this is this is the life you live when you want to clout chase off of someone like World of T-shirts. You bring him into your home and you've basically given him a free pass to just do whatever the hell he wants in there. And what he wants to do, whether it's by his choice or not, is throw up all over your floor. And now we cut to a new clip where Josh is in a new t-shirt, and I really think this is where the switch happens. You know, white shirt Josh, he was mad about shit. He was he was pretty angry and on the streets. But let me tell you something, orange-shirted Josh, this man is a lunatic. This man is on another level. So, the second he dons that shirt, I'm telling you, a flip is switched, and this man just starts going off. It's horrible. You stupid alcoholic, give me my money back. Josh, your cameos are horrible. You stupid 
stupid alcoholic, give me my money back. Unemployed Josh, your rat. Your are horrible. You stupid alcoholic, give me my money back. Unemployed rat. You don't treat middle class people like that. I live paycheck to f***ing paycheck. I've only been to seven countries. And this is the way you treat me. Okay. I'm coming and I'm going to toilet paper for your Thousands, Josh, you are a rich brat. You need to be taxed more heavily. You wine and dine and get treated like a king while we are all out here working. Shame on you, you scum. You Shame deserve to be me. unemployed. Shame on me! FB, $3 worth going to throw you in prison, you unemployed rat like we did with Daniel. I'm not unemployed! I'm a sole proprietor, you jerk! I'm gonna beat you! He just starts ranting about random things such as being part of the middle class despite just a few minutes ago trying to show off the fact that he makes over $5,000 a month. He's yelling that you can't be treating middle class people like this. And then to further prove how middle class he is, he decides to exclaim that he has only been to seven countries. So what are you people doing? Daring to talk that way to this poor innocent man who's just trying his best, hopping from country to country on vacation to vacation, who never really has anything more to do in his days than get drunk and collect money off of his TikTok ad revenue. What are you doing? Like, you don't have it as hard as him. He brings up the fact that he lives paycheck to paycheck. I guess he's trying to say that, you know, that makes it so that he's just any normal guy. When, no, when most people get paid $5,000 a month, they put a good bit of it aside. They save their money. Josh, however, spends all of it on frivolous vacations, hotel rooms around New York, and mostly alcohol. He then gets even more mad when people tell him he should be taxed heavier and shame on you. And that's, that's really where he starts losing it. But as you can probably see in the background while I've been talking, it's just gonna get more and more batshit insane. How does it feel to export a young disabled person like Josh for abuse? You are disabled! Just go rehab, just go rehab, Josh, go rehab, disabled. Josh, go to rehab, Josh, go to rehab, disabled. Josh, go to rehab, 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 Josh, that poor dog is just going crazy at Josh right now. He went off when somebody dared drop the line disabled at him. Now, old Josh took great offense to this, as you know, most people probably would if someone's just gonna randomly call them disabled. But Josh fights against these statements and these trollish donators, and then goes on again about how they're like using the middle class against, I don't know, <laughs> he's, he, he's so off the wall with this middle class stuff, he wants to be identified as that so bad. You know, everybody else is unemployed, but Josh is a hardworking middle class individual. At least that's what I'm gathering from this. And sent three dollars, Josh. Josh, come get in line at the unemployment line. You're broke. I'm suing you. Please come get in line. I'm for your suing you. Broke disabled body. I'm suing you. I'm not unemployed. I'm a sole proprietor for Rich crying guy, out loud. Three dollars, you unemployed middle class. Unemployed. Three dollars, Josh. Our door business is illegal. Our business is illegal. I don't Josh, care if it's uh, illegal. Josh, your business is illegal. Josh, your business is illegal. Shut up! Shut up! It really drives him over the edge whenever people call him either unemployed or disabled. I mean, in the beginning of the clip there, you heard how he's now threatening to sue these people. You know, these people sending in these donations, they better look out for a lawsuit, because I don't know what they're doing that's illegal, but Josh sure as hell does. But speaking of things that are illegal, Josh's New York tour business. Because if you don't know what Josh actually, like, does as a job, which is, you know, <laughs> I say that very loosely, because it's not like he has hours or anything. He also has terrible reviews on this specific thing he does but what he does is goes around and shows people tours of new york old world t-shirts is basically a little drunken tour guide and does, is he good at the job and probably not 
like from what I've heard, it just always ends up in him getting extremely like trashed on the street, which is just the world of t-shirts way to do it. I've never seen this guy like just not completely plastered. And the thing is, Josh is like a young guy. And most alcoholics that I know at this age, like they started drinking back when we were like 12, 13 years old and it never stopped. Josh had his first drinks like around his 21st birthday and since that day he has not taken his foot off the gas and in videos like this it shows. Now Josh is probably not the most stable individual while sober but when you add alcohol into the equation and you do it on a daily basis the finished product is exactly what you see on the screen right now. He's trying out. Everyone loves you. Everyone. Shut up! Great, I don't care if my tour business is illegal. I don't care. And I'm not an unemployed. I'm a sole proprietor. Just the rich kid said three dollars. You were unemployed. Just you were rich and take advantage of the lower class. As a member of the lower class, I do not have anything to do with you. You were rich and upper class. You've been to 30 countries. I've been to zero. It. You call me unemployed. You're stuck in your parents' basement. All I'm getting is mean comments. All right, well, let's let's just stop taking TTS for a little while because it's getting out of hand. What can I do to take care of you, Josh? What do you What do you want me to do? How can I help you? How because you're upset. How, how can I help you? Do you I'm, want, do you want gonna, a glass of water? I'm gonna eat myself. You want me? You want, you want to get some pizza? Middle class rat something. Stop making fun of me. Or I'm gonna come to your house and in Minecraft. I mean, this dude really is a complete enabler. He asked Josh at one point, do you want me to turn off the stream? It's no problem if you do. And then he just sits there and says, well, I'll turn the TTS off. So he does, you know, Josh doesn't have to hear the, the donos out loud anymore. So, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And then one immediately comes up telling Josh that he's an unemployed rat. And what does old Mr. Bass do? Decides to read it out loud. And, and within seconds, Josh is back to freaking out. And now he's making death threats at people he actually did it like a minute ago and i had to censor it out but this time i think the dude caught it and starts like kind of trying to cut him off so he doesn't get his stream taken down due to josh's death threats and he decides to say something that most people on the internet do when they say something pretty violent following it up by saying in minecraft and this then turns into a weird back and forth of mr bass trying to prove that what josh is saying is in minecraft but josh not having any of it and wanting mr based and the rest of the world to know that this is about real life and the war and the little back and forth these two have over it is, is, is just golden in real life minecraft in real life minecraft in real life I, minecraft in real life i can't take the shit anymore minecraft in real life i can't take the shit anymore i look paycheck the Paycheck. Minecraft. I've in real life. I've I've only been to seven countries. I'm sick and tired of this shit. I've only been to England, Iceland, Norway, Belgium, France, Italy, Netherlands. Why don't I get to travel anywhere? It sucks. We're gonna go to Iceland together. I may as well be dead. It's not... Motherfuckers. Taking advantage of the middle class. Motherfuckers. Wealthy people get to go on vacation every month. I do none of that! It really goes to show how spoiled he is when at some point in the middle of that he said, man, I may as well be dead because I've only visited like seven countries, you know? I wish I could be one of these rich, these rich bigwigs traveling every month. <laughs> it's like, like, dude, the only people doing that are like the really, really rich people. And those are people who've probably already retired because the people who are out there making their money aren't going on vacations every month. Now, look, I, I'm probably wrong in that. There's probably celebrities 
celebrities who make money hand over fist, so most of the time they can just go and chill wherever. But if you're working hard to make your money, you're probably not taking that many days off. And if you're someone like Josh, who's a sole proprietor, then you gotta be busting your ass every day and not taking these monthly vacations. But here's the fact. Josh has a very skewed outlook on the world. He thinks that, you know, only being in seven countries, that's nothing. Uh, but most people would do anything to travel like once every few years. Josh, again, is somebody who's been, he's been very privileged in the life he's lived. The fact that he hasn't faced jail time for some of the stuff he's done is kind of outlandish. You know, I'm pretty sure I heard a story once of him like subway surfing. Now, I don't think he was actually on top of the train, but I could be wrong and <laughs> wrong about that. But like, just imagine a drunken world of t-shirts just stumbling onto a train at some point and just hanging on for dear life as he goes from like location to location. This dude's always doing something either illegal or that can get him or somebody else hurt. And it's just, it's crazy to see him complain that other people have it easy when he has had it easier. is unemployed send three dollars middle class unemployed rat we will seize your assets i'll seize your assets don't call me that mom 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 you want you want me you're an unemployed it i make more money than you i make five grand a fucking month i've only been to seven countries in my life that's so sad. It's so sad. I never get to do anything. Why? Why me? Wealth? Wealth is luck. Being wealthy is luck. I unfortunately, I got the wrong end of the wishbone. You want to smoke a little? Okay. I can't stand it anymore. I work every day on the front lines. Let's just see that I gotta clean the mess. Is that vomit or just a drink? Drink. Okay. I, I work seven days a week on the front lines. I can't tan, stand it anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick somebody's butt. That's how mad I am. This guy is unbelievable. I mean, in one breath, he's talking about how you're just, you're down on him because he's part of the middle class. And then the next minute, he's bragging to them saying, I make more money than you. Like, what don't you understand? And then he's right back to, well, yeah, but I've only been to seven countries. It's just pretty sad. Josh is all over the place in this video. And you know, I said it earlier on, but I bet even before Josh was drinking, he was a bit like this. But I mean, come on, now that he's drinking every day and you see how trashed he is in this video, it just exacerbates things so much. He's sitting here, like the way he's freaking out, jumping up and down, biting on his hand like he's literally about to gnaw it off. I mean, at one point he literally says he's gonna eat himself. He was trying in the video. Like We all saw that in real time. If he could bite down hard enough he would have taken some big chomps out of that hand i mean this is a man who wakes up on the concrete of the concrete jungle almost every morning and he just goes about his day and does it again and he records it all and he makes a pretty penny doing it you know this is his life plan this is his goal this is what i guess he has fun doing so who am i to say uh to do anything different this is josh's life it's the life that he wants to live if he wants to get off alcohol i hope he uh gets some help but i mean like what, what do you want me to say here like unless he's out there like hurting people if josh is just moping around screaming to himself on the streets in new york then i mean <laughs> and you know what do you, you little Long Island Ice t-shirt? I, I don't know what to say about Josh Block. I bet I'll get a comment or two telling me, no, no, he's terrible. He's done this, that, and the third. But I mean, yeah, that's that. World of T-shirts just freaked out on this guy's stream. And you can go watch this entire video. Well, the edited down version, which is the, the actual good part of it, over on Papa Greenie's channel. It'll be down the link in the description below. And yeah, that's about that. If you guys liked this video and want to see more Josh Block and more of him going crazy, let me know in the comments, because I'd love to cover this guy again. 
it's kind of hilarious seeing like how much stuff he does like this every week like this isn't anything new but this is like one of the craziest ones i've seen in a long time so yeah just let me know i hope you goats have a great rest of your day and it may be the beginning of a new week but my friends don't you worry because that weekend will be back here before you know it the summer is like the summer is just kicking right now the heat is pretty wicked but honestly it's it's the summer man you gotta enjoy it because it's only here for a while and then it's gone unless you live in like a place where it's like that all the time and if you do you lucky bastards i hope you guys have a great day too hope all you guys watching this do unless you're like you know like a creep like white bowser or daniel larson if he was somehow watching this from like you know closed circuit tv in colorado in a prison somewhere i digress thank you again to prize picks for sponsoring today's video and with all that being said i am out of here and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day take care everybody